Welcome to Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, TV's Craig Ferguson. Please sit down, relax, stop clapping. <laughs> at home, too, stop clapping at home. You wake the neighbors. Oh, no, they're watching, too. Good. It's a great day for America, everybody. Uh, and I'll tell you why. For the first time today in a long time, justice was served in a California courtroom. Because well, usually in California courtrooms, you know, if you're a celebrity, you do what you like, dumb her. You know, not guilty. Basically, but, but didn't I see you in a show once? Yes, yeah, not guilty, out you go. <laughs> didn't you do a commercial? Well, I did that. Now, off you go then. <laughs> off you go and join. Now, don't do it again. The thing you didn't do before, don't do that again. <laughs> Tell your publicist hi. <laughs> Anyway, today a couple of grifters, this husband and wife team, that had, uh, they were trying to sue a fast food company. Uh, you know, some frivolous lawsuit, trying to say there was stuff in their food, it wasn't there, it was crap. They're going to jail, these people. They're getting sent to jail. Uh, yes, I think it's sent. I sent a message to these people, you know, because that, that, I've worked in restaurants. There's always somebody saying there's crap in the food, trying to get a free meal. There's always, you know, someone says, oh, there was glass in my food. They go, yeah, I watched you break the glass into it. <laughs> But it's your glass and you get out. Oh wait a minute, you're a celebrity. Enjoy, please. Can you would you like more glass in your meal? I'm glad this pair of uh, ne'er do wells have been brought to justice. They're part of uh, the society just now, I think, is over litigious. It's too many lawsuits. Too many lawsuits, too many lawyers, too many law and orders as well. Far too many law and Law and order SUV, that's enough. <laughs> Big car, get your own show, doesn't seem fair. <laughs> anyway, listen, I don't know the details of this lawsuit. I don't know anything about it. But it won't stop me talking about it. I'm like Fox News. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> let's talk about it anyway. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm like Geraldo. You know, I just, uh, I speculate on the assumptions. That's what I do. <laughs> Did that really happen? Yes, and I've got a very strong opinion on it. Wait, it didn't happen. Doesn't matter. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I, no, I need, I'm not as good as Geraldo. To be Geraldo, I'd need to have a big moustache and even less credibility as a newsman. <laughs> then. <laughs> Geraldo's going to kick my ass. He was, a, he, was a, he was a Golden Gloves boxing champion, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bring it on, Geraldo. No, no, no. No. Now, you see all this lawsuit thing, I, I think it all started when you remember that woman that uh, sued a big fast food company when she spilled hot coffee on herself? Remember that? Yeah. She was holding coffee in her thighs, which, you know, gets me interested, I must admit. <laughs> Any woman that holds her coffee in her thighs, I'm like, all right, okay, yes, I'm interested. But um, she was holding her coffee in her thighs and it spilled, I don't know how it spilled, and uh, she sued this company and she won. Now, I, I blame her for spilling her coffee. I know, I know, but I blame her. Now they have to print warnings on coffee cups. You know, the beverage you're about to enjoy is extremely hot. They put that on the Starbucks coffee cups now. What, can I sue them if the beverage isn't hot? <laughs> but if I, if I don't enjoy the beverage, what will I do? I, well, I was going to enjoy it, then I had to go and answer the phone. It's your fault! I want five million dollars! <laughs> they, they, no, it's, it's true, though. It's just that whole thing about, you know, it, what happened to individual responsibility? What I'm to also say, you take responsibility for what you do. I mean, I'm reading, uh, I got a bunch, uh, a bottle of uh, bottled water the other day. It's California. You're not allowed to drink the water. You have to drink bottled water. <laughs> And I do. I'm just such a... I, you know, you can market anything to me. Oh, no, you have to drink water out of a bottle. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> and so I'm reading the thing on the water. I, this, I must have been really bored yesterday. I was reading a bottled water thing. But anyway, I was reading it. And it said, you know, no sodium, no calories, no stuff. And then it said, no arsenic. <laughs> and I, I thought, well, I should hope not. But then... And I thought, well, by implication, does that mean there's arsenic in other bottled water? <laughs> I don't know about this. 